So in order to take a look at uh, our loops of Henley, I'm actually going to take us to my favorite place, University of Michigan histology site. These guys are amazing. You can actually see the entire kidney, and we're going to be able to go in and mess around just like you can in lab with your slides. It's nice because they always leave you a big picture, and they give you a little uh, red box to show you where you are zoomed into. So if you take a look at the big picture of this kidney, I don't know if it's just because it's me, but I totally can see the cortex of this kidney out here. It, I can see that line, and then I can totally see the medulla of the kidney. Do you agree with that? So I can't see renal pyramids, and that's okay but I can definitely tell the difference between cortex and medulla. What structures are we going to expect to find in the cortex? Well, right away we know, look, I mean, you can see them already. We know that we're going to expect to find um, renal corpuscles, Bowman's capsule with the knot of glomerular capillaries, and in fact, sure enough, we can. We know that we could totally spend time in here looking through and labeling these in the cortex as either um, proximal convoluted tubules or distal convoluted tubules. We also have some collecting ducts in here that are receiving um, the filtrate from the distal convoluted tubule because the distal convoluted tubules have to dump in somewhere and the collecting ducts start up there. But let's go check out the medulla. Let's go farther in, and you can see that the, the nature of the situation changes. Does it look different to you here? The medulla is just going to be a massive line of holy um, collecting ducts and loops of Henle. Can we tell the difference between the descending and the ascending loop of Henle in our histo slides? Not going to happen. Can we tell the difference between the collecting ducts and the loops of Henle in the histo slides? Someone can, I guarantee. We're not going to do that either. The direction that we probably would go is who would you expect to see in the medulla? Number one, you'd be able to tell that we're in the medulla because we see no renal corpuscles. Number two, we'd be able to know that medulla is where we're going to see our loops of Henle and uh, where we're going to see pieces of collecting duct. I have one more section to talk about the collecting duct, and then that's the end of this lecture.